Greetings shippers and welcome back. It's been a while and it's time to dive right back into talking about fandom things. Today I want to highlight a fun event, a yearly occurrence that spreads across multiple fandoms and can be enjoyed by all who love the trope it embraces. And that trope is Wump. While not often called Wump anymore at the time of this recording, the sentiment of hurt comfort or injured character trope lives on. We did an entire video on the origin of the term Wump and how it is tied to none other than Stargate SG-1's Daniel Jackson. So if you missed that, you know the drill. Check it out via card and or link. Cliff Notes Wump is a tale that centralizes on the most often physical injury of a character. Be they in peril, being tortured, or recovering, it is a way to run your faves through the ringer and have them most often come out the other side with the help of those who love them. Though of course it can get pretty dark. It affords opportunities for dramatic tension as well as character development, as you can have the character be introspective or forced to contend with vulnerabilities they never have before. Wumptober differs from Kinktober, which occurs at the same time. Though of course some will have crossover requests or you can participate in both. So what is Wumptober? Wumptober is defined by a list of prompts, one for every day of the month, and those who choose to participate in Wumptober can approach it several ways. Some will attempt the master challenge of filling each prompt, so one fic or work of art or contribution a day, which is indeed a true challenge. Yet some rise to it slash have the time to complete it. The prompts can be very vague. Case in point, here are some of the prompts for 2019's Wumptober. Shaky hands, explosion, delirium, human shield, gunpoint, isolation, unconscious, don't move, tear stained, and the list goes on. Now for those who choose not to attempt to fill every single prompt, some will gravitate towards a single one and work with that, but may label their work as being part of the overall influx of Wump. Some will keep all their works inside one fandom, while others will branch out, attaching whichever prompt to the character they feel suits it, just letting their minds go where they will. As for the contents, well, the more Wump, the better. However, Wump is not gore, so it tends to stay within the parameters of Wump, which also involves the emotional element. In Wumptober, sometimes you will have interconnected narratives or just one-shots, and the one-shots will not always be resolved, just leaving your character in peril chapter after chapter. This is appealing to some fans while not to others, who prefer to see their conflicts resolved. Now, some of you may be saying, Wumptober, I never heard of this. Making this up, nay. If you have not encountered Wumptober, it may simply be because it is not a big part of where you practice your fandom. Prompts tend to, in the modern era, be collected on Tumblr, and depending upon one's experiences, Tumblr may or may not be a platform one frequents, and there has been a decline on Tumblr since the big purge, that being the complete not safe for work purge. In days past, LiveJournal was another good place for prompts. At the time of this recording, Twitter is another locale where some of this is proliferated. And of course, because this challenge can go across multiple fandoms, perhaps the fandom you're in simply doesn't have any participants. As for posting, it is quite easy to round up these posts using an archive, specifically at the time of this recording, archive of our own, as they tend to be collected thanks to AO3's intricate tagging system. So if that is what you're in the mood for, you'll be able to go on and power through those posts. Also, the clear labeling makes it easy for those who do not appreciate this trope to avoid it. Wumptober is a fun creative exercise that can get fans to stretch their narrative and storytelling muscles in an environment where it will be for the most part accepted and appreciated. For Wump lovers, it's a time to look forward to, as Wump is now more diffused into other tropes, such as the essentially the same, though not necessarily as physical focused, hurt comfort. If you're intrigued by all this and wondering how to get started, in the words of a glorious yet outdated Shia LaBeouf meme, just do it. Dive right in, or if you're more cautious, test the waters, see how and where other people post, or talk to someone who is enthusiastic about the endeavor. If there's a Discord, see if you can join, get a sense of the vibe. Wumptober is a smaller happening, so it can, as a result, be a more welcoming environment. Can, not will, no guarantees. Wumptober is just a small example of ways that fandom can come together to create more works and spread the love of appreciating one's favorite shows, movies, books, and more beyond the confines of the material itself. It's not for everyone, but for those who enjoy it, they are quite happy to partake in Wumptober. I hope if you were at all curious about Wumptober, that was helpful. If you were there this year, what were some of your best favorite fix? Please share it down below. Thanks so much as always for taking some time out of your day to discuss shipping with me. I always appreciate it. And special thanks to all my patrons. Names is always on the side and there's an other vote ongoing at the time of this recording. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more shipping videos. Let me know if you need those moments and I will see you again soon. Stay tuned for there are as many ships out there as there are stars in the sky.